Hi kids, welcome to Physical Education 6, Quarter 1, Week 1. Introduction to Target Games, Batuhang Bola. And today, you are expected to, number one, assess regularly participation in physical activities based on the Philippine Physical Activity Pyramid. Two, observe safety precautions. Three, execute the different skills involved in the game. And four, display joy of effort, respect for others, sportsmanship, and fair play during participation in physical activities. So these are what's expected of you at the end of our lesson. Are you ready? How ready are you? Let's have a pretest to know how much you have learned in your previous grades. Ready? Let's begin. Number one, what do we call the games that involve different manipulative skills like throwing, tossing, rolling, catching, running, jumping, hopping, and stretching? A, board games. B, target games. C, role-playing games. Or D, ball games. Number two. Which among the following is not a target game? A. Tumbang preso. B. Shatong. C. Batuhang bola. Or D. Luksong tinik. Number three. What do we call the team in Batuhang bola whose members are all hit by the ball? A. Winner. B. Loser. C. Champion. Or D. Defender. Number four, how many teams do you need to play Batuhang Bola? A2, B3, C4, or D5? Number five, which among the following is not a safety precaution during playing Batuhang Bola? A, uphold sportsmanship during the game. B, make sure the dodgeball is malleable and lightweight. C, Hit the player's head hard so you could make a sure win. Or D, encourage the throwing player to aim for Dodger's body to score. Number six, which of the following is not supposed to be done in Batuhang Bola? Is it picture A, picture B, picture C, or picture D? Now it's time to check your work. Are you ready? Let's check. If you have a partner there, you can exchange with your partner. If you have your parent, brothers or sisters, they can help you check your work. Or if you're alone, you can do it by yourself. Number one, answer is letter B. Two, D. Three, B. Four, A. Five, C. And six, letter D. Count the number of check marks and put your score on the topmost portion of your notebook. How did you do in our pretest? Did you get perfect? If not, don't you worry. You still have time to, you know, learn some more. Are you ready to learn some more? Let's start. Look at the pictures. Are you familiar with them? What Filipino games or laro ng lahi do you know of? And which of these is your favorite? You know, when I was a kid like you, I used to play luksong tinik, patentero, tumbang preso, piko, tagutaguan, habulan, and batuhang bola, together with my siblings, cousin, and neighbor. For sure, my childhood was fun-filled. We didn't have gadgets to play back with back then, so most of our playtime was spent in physical activities. Games have become part of Filipino culture, and they are one of the oldest form of human interaction. Games were important as cultural and bonding events and as teaching tools. Tradition. 
The traditional games, Parpularong Pinoy, are very much alive in the Philippines. These are games commonly played by children, usually using indigenous materials or materials available in the surroundings. Just like I remember when I was a kid, we used to, uh, we used to play dodgeball. So we use um, leaves of coconuts, we weave them and then form balls. And then we use those balls one at a time to hit our playmates. So that's it for our indigenous materials. Some games are played and held during fiesta. These games include some of my favorites. What about you? What are the games that you like to play? Today, we will focus on target game. Target games are games that involve the players in placing an object near or in a target to be able to get the highest possible score. The players must propel the object with much accuracy and control to hit the target. The player should also know how to protect the object to prevent the other players from scoring. Target games involve different manipulative skills like throwing, rolling, catching, running, jumping, hopping, and stretching. Batuhang bola, what is it? Batuhang bola is the Filipino version of dodgeball. I remember us calling it touch ball because we have to make sure the ball didn't touch our body. It is a very enjoyable game, which children become, wherein children becomes very active and alert. They also develop sportsmanship and teamwork along the way. Dodgeball or batong bola is a game in which players on two teams try to throw balls at each other while avoiding being hit by running and Dodging. What are the safety measures in Batuhang Bola? Number one, establish medical readiness, a self reported health status, and free from any sickness. So, if you don't feel good, if you have some kind of headache or body ache, or maybe feverish, or you have some coughs, don't play. Okay? Next is proper clothing. You have to avoid clothing that is too tight or that restricts your movement because this game requires a lot of physical movements. So you need to wear something, something comfortable. For women, wear an exercise bra for support. For men, consider an athletic supporter. What are the skills needed for Batuhang Bola? These are the skills needed for this game. Throwing, running, jumping, hopping, catching, and dodging. What are the mechanics of the game? To play batuhang bola, you must first gather two teams and get a ball. Players play in front of the end line. Each of them must have a space behind them, maybe five meters. When the player is out, they play behind the other team in order to get back in, they have to hit an opponent. The first team should stand in the middle of the court while the second team should be divided into two and should stand at both sides of the first team. The second team should hit the players of the first team. And every time the second team hits a player of the first team, that player would be out. If the player catches a ball, his team gains a life and can be used to revive another player or be used to continue to play on if the ball hits him or her. Number six, the team wins if it hits all the players on the other team and no one of the players is left standing. Now let's go to the rules of the game. First, toss coin will decide who will be the defensive and offensive teams. Number two, teams will be playing a 30-minute game with teams exchanging position as offensive and defensive. When you say offensive, this is the team which would shoot the ball. And then defensive teams, these are the, play, the players wherein they would be running and jumping and they would defend themselves so that they would not be hit by the ball. Number three, there will be a five-minute halftime break. Number four, offensive team 
will place one player each on the shooter or S position and two players on assist or A position behind the shooter. Five, shooters are only allowed to throw the ball at defensive players behind the line at the base of the triangle, which is the designated throw area. Number six, assists are not allowed to throw the ball at deflectors. Seven, defensive team will field five players in the playing court as deflectors. Deflectors will try to avoid getting hit by the offensive team shooters until the five minute time limit expires. Teams will be given two three minute timeout each half of the gameplay. And number 10, substitution can only be done on dead ball situations. Now let's do this activity. Let's see if you can identify what skill is being performed in the pictures. Are you ready? Let's begin. Done, kids? Let's check your work. Number one, it's called dodging. Number two, running. Number three, throwing. Number four, jumping. Number five, hopping. And number six, catching. Count the number of check marks and put your score on top of your notebook. So, did you get perfect this time? I hope so. If you did, wow, you're doing an amazing job. If not, don't worry, you still have time to re, uh, you know, revisit the video. And you also have time to make a perfect score in the next activity. Let's do it. Tell what skill in the pangbola is shown in the following situations. These situations are what's happening in ordinary life, in our real life. So let's see what could be the skill in pangbola that can be developed while doing these ordinary activities. Number one, reaching a fruit high up on a mango tree branch. Number two, Walking in the park when suddenly the rain starts pouring hard. So you try to find a shelter so you won't get wet. Number three, throwing a crumpled paper in a garbage bin from a distance. Four, crossing over some paddles of rainwater in the backyard. Five, avoiding a cat leaping near your waist. And six, receiving a towel being thrown at you. Finished? Let's check. Number one, jumping. Number two, running. Three, throwing. Four, hopping. Five, dodging. And six, catching. Perfect? Wow, amazing. That's a good job. Now let's assess your learning. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper, on your notebook. Number one, which skill is not needed in playing batuang bola? A, dodging, B, catching, C, walking, or D, running? Number two. What is the first rule in Batuang Bola? A, there will be a five-minute halftime break. B, defensive team will field five players in the playing court. C, substitution can only be done in dead ball. Or D, toss coin to decide which team would break, play offensive and defensive. Three, how long does a Batuang Bola last? A, 30 minutes. B, 15 minutes. C, 45 minutes, or D, one hour. Which of the following statement is not true in playing batuhang bola? A, women should wear a sports bra for support. B, men should wear an athletic supporter. 
C. Men and women should wear very tight clothes to move properly. Or D. Men and women should wear comfortable athletic attire while playing batuhang bola. Number five. How does a defensive player become out when playing batuhang bola? A. When he or she catches a thrown ball. B. When he or she is hit by a thrown ball. C. When a timeout is called. Or D. When he or she becomes a deflector. Ready for number six? Okay. Which value is not developed when playing dodgeball or batuhang bola? Is it A. Respect? B. Honesty? C. Teamwork? Or D. Sportsmanship? Seven. When the first team is already in the middle of the court, what happens next? A. There will be a five-minute halftime break. B. Defensive team will field five players in the playing court. C. Substitution can only be done on dead ball. Or D. Toss coin to decide which team would play offensive and defensive. Number eight. What is the distance of players in the court? A. Five feet. B. Five inches. C. Five meters. Or D. Five kilometers. Nine. Which of the following statements is not true in playing batuhang bola? A. Offensive team will place one player each on the shooter or S position and two players on assist or A position behind the shooter. B. The second team should hit the players of the first team. Every time the second team hits a player of the first team, that player would be out. C. Teams will be given three two-minute timeout of each half of the game play. Or D, substitution can only be done on dead ball situations. Number 10, what kind of ball shouldn't be used in batuang bola? A, plastic ball, B, rubber ball, C, woven leaf ball, or D, metal ball? Are you ready for checking? Check your work. Number one, C. Number two, D. Number three, A. Number four, C. Number five, B. Six, A. Seven, B. S um, eight, C. Nine, C. And ten, D. How are you doing? Perfect. Wow. That's an excellent job. If you got eight, nine, and 10, that means you passed our assessment test. If you did not, then you can review our video so that the next time you take the exercise test, you'll get a passing grade. Now for our additional activity, after viewing this video, I want you to wear appropriate attire and take photos of you performing the following skills in Batuhang Bola and submit them to our Google Classroom. But before you take the pictures, you have to do these um, skills. You have to perform these skills first so that when you take the picture, you will look really good at performing these skills. So good luck on our additional activity. Okay, kids? Now, before I end this session, teacher Jean would like to remind you of this. Life is like playing dodgeball. Every time a problem strikes, don't let it hit you. Learn to dodge, jump, and hop. Enjoy and win this game called life. So this is teacher Jean saying goodbye. See you next time. Take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.